Now we are learn about physiological effects of accents. Now comes the physiological effects of auxins. Number one, auxin is a plant hormone produced in the stem tip that promotes cell elongation. When light falls on the plant, this auxin moves to the darker side of the plant causing the cells there to grow larger than corresponding cells on the lighter side of the plant. And this produces a curving of the plant stem tip towards the light. Uh, and this type of plant movement is known as phototropism. Number two, auxin induces both growth of pre-existing roots and adventitious root formation. Adventitious roots means branching roots. As more oxen is transported down the stem to the roots, the overall development of the roots is stimulated. Number three, apical dominance. Apical buds or we can say terminal buds. These terminal buds releases auxin and it inhibits or we can say suppress growth of lateral buds so that the plant may grow vertically and this is called apical dominance. When we prune the terminal bud, dormant lateral buds develop and produce bushy plants. Number four, hormones, auxins and gibberlins, they are well known to induce parthenocarpy. Parthenocarpy means formation of sailless fruits without the act of fertilization. Number five, auxin prevents formation of abscission layer. The word abscission means detachment. When the level of auxin declines, a special layer of cells called the abscission layer forms at the base of the petiole or fruit stalk. And afterwards, the detachment of plant parts occur. Okay, that's all about the physiologic effects of auxins. Thank you. Have a nice day.